cookbook author Greta Podleski is back to spice up our lives with more recipes from the pumpkin patch because it's fall, y'all. So this time <laughs> we're focusing on sweeter fare and you've got this pumpkin, banana, zucchini, loaf. loaf. It's yes. all the goodness in a loaf. It is and a lot of people mm. are saying right now I've got all this zucchini and then it's kind of pumpkin season. So this is something that could be made into a loaf. It could be made into muffins. It's one of my favorites. Also freezes well. Mm -hmm. Super simple, common every day. Get people pumped about pumpkin. That's what yes. I'm here to do. So Get us here, pumped. you be responsible for dry ingredients. Yes, ma'am. So you, in the bowl, we have uh, some white flour and some whole wheat. I like okay. to mix the two together. If this you do all idea. whole wheat, you could. Your loaf is just going to be a little bit denser and heavier, right? Mm -hmm. Can you make it gluten-free? Absolutely. But okay. what a lot of people say to me is, oh, can I just use coconut flour? No. Can I just use almond flour? No. no. Those are gluten-free flours, but they're nothing like wheat flour. Oh, okay. So when you do gluten-free baking, you need an all-purpose blend. So if you're buying one at the store, you look for an all-purpose gluten-free blend. It's going to have three or four, even sometimes five different gluten-free flours in it to make it more like wheat. Light? Is it more, does yes. it make it more light? Because yes. maybe coconut and almond is just a little too heavy? It's, it's, and they're really absorbent. Oh, so everything okay. becomes really dry. So you have okay. uh, white flour, whole wheat flour. You have some ground flax. You could do ground chia. Yeah. I'm sneaking in some nutrition again. Good. Uh, Cinnamon, of course, baking powder, baking soda, salt. In the wet, okay. we have uh, super ripe bananas, mm -hmm. okay? Like, I'm not talking they have a couple spots on them. No. Like, the kind that you think I've got to throw these <laughs> out, right? Yeah. This is what you want because this uh, recipe doesn't have a lot of added sugar. This yeah. is your sugar. Okay, good. Okay? We're only adding half a cup of brown sugar and it's not packed. Yeah. And then I am putting the pumpkin in, the mm -hmm. canned pumpkin. Yum, yum, yum. Like half a cup of that? Yeah, or is that a cup? You know what? You're such a good stirrer. I'm just going to I'll do it. I'll stir. do it. Okay, I'm adding an egg. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm adding the grated zucchini. Ooh, when you nice. grate zucchini, it's really wet and watery. Yeah. That's not good for baking. So drain it on paper towels, press it down, get the moisture out. Okay. okay. Grated zucchini. And then this is uh, Greek yogurt. Oh, nice. Right? So it's going to add a little bit of moistness too. And then yeah. I use a little bit of oil. And I prefer something really neutral like sunflower or safflower for a recipe like this. Okay. So we're going to mix all that. And then here, let me do this, and you dump in the dry. You got it. And I always say to people, don't overmix the batter, because that's what makes baked goods tough. Yeah. I would never use a stand mixer to make something like this ever. No? No, because it's you need to be gentle, right? Okay. okay you're not beating it. You're just stirring it until you can't see the flour anymore. And when I'm about halfway done, yeah. that's when I add nuts, chocolate chips, whatever you want. That's walnuts. Oh, I like you that can you do, do chocolate chips. So see how it's like kind of halfway stirred? Now add them. Okay. Why? Because I don't want to stir it completely and then stir it all over again and then I'm stirring too much, right? That's right. So I add them now. And then Economize we, on that stir. Right. If you think are thinking right now in your thought bubble, dark chocolate chips would taste really good in there. You're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They would. They would. So you could use those instead or sometimes I do half and half, like half pecans, half dark chocolate. Yes. Right? I love it. I okay. like the way your brain works. This this is a really thick batter and it goes yeah. into my 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. It's really important that you bake this in a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. Why? Why? A lot of people have an 8 by 4, 8 by 4 and a half. The volume is completely different what it can hold. Okay. When I dump this in there, there'll be about an inch at the top. If you dump it in an 8 by 4, it's going to be filled right to the top. Right. When you're baking powder and baking soda, do their magic and make it rise in the oven. Mm -hmm. Baked goods need something to grab onto, to grow. Okay. okay? So we need that inch around there. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's just going to, that's when people go, it was totally flat. Right. It's because their pan was too full and it didn't have anything to hold on to while it grew. So there's my little baking okay. visualization for you. So if a recipe says 9 by 5, yeah. it was tested for a 9 by 5. If you don't have a 9 by 5 and you have an 8 by 4, yeah. you probably have muffin pans. Make it in a muffin pan Do way a better. Muffin. And it's probably going to take 20 minutes to cook instead of an hour because our loaf is going in at 350 for an hour. Okay. So if you're impatient, make muffins. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, and really good tips. Yeah. Do you have anything more? Because I know there's there's always more, isn't there? Oh my God, there's always there's more. There's so much okay, more. Okay, the mashed banana. Oh yes, the zucchini. If you don't yeah. want zucchini, you don't have zucchini, finely grated carrot. Then it's like a pumpkin Ooh, carrot. Good. Yes. Good combination. Yeah. Got the cinnamon in it. So. Okay. Zucchini tips, or carrots. Honey. Cityline.tv for that recipe. So good. Nine by five. Early. <laughs> <laughs> Nine by five. Nine yeah. by four. Yeah, you done now? 